بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹوڈے ایم گونا پرزینٹ یو دا ٹاپک سافٹ ویئر ڈیولپنگ لائف سائیکل ریڈ ماڈل آؤٹ لائن آف آر ٹاپک دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹوڈے از انٹروڈکشن ماڈل ڈیزائن فیسز ایپلیکیشن ایڈوانٹیجز ڈس ایڈوانٹیجز اینڈ ایٹ دا اینڈ ول ڈسکس سمری So introduction to the RAD model is it is based on prototype and iterative developing with no specific planning involved. This process of writing the software itself involves the planning required for developing the project. Rapid application developing focuses on gathering customer requirements through the workshops or focus groups. Early testing of the prototypes by the customer using iterative concept reuse of the existing prototypes components continuous integration and rapid delivery what is rad rapid application developing is a software development methodology that uses minimal planning in favor of rapid prototyping a prototype is a working model that is functionally equivalent to a component of the product in the rad model the functional modules are developed in parallel as prototypes and integrated to make the compute product for faster product delivery since there is no detailed pre-planning it makes it earlier to incorporate the changes within the development process rad products follow iterative incremental model and have small teams comparison of developing so the most important aspect for this model is to be successful is to make sure that prototype developing are reusable rad model design have a look of the rad model design prototype 1 prototype 2 prototype 3 the rad model distributes analysis design build and test phases into a series of short iterative development systems phases of rad model business modeling the business model for the product under the development is designed in terms of flow of information and the distribution of information between various business channels a complete business analysis is performed to find the vital information for business and how it can be obtained how and when is the information processed and what are the factors driving successful flow of the information data modeling the information gathered in the business modeling phases is reviewed and analyzed to form sets of data objects vital for the business in the process modeling The data object set design in the data modeling phases are converted to establish the business information flow needed to achieve specific business objectives as per the business model. Application generation. The actual system is built and coding is done by using the automation tools to convert process and data models into actual prototypes. The next one is testing the overall testing time is reduced in the rad model as the prototypes are independently tested during every iteration rad model application the rad model can be applied successfully to the projects in which clear modularization is possible if the project cannot be broken into modules rad may fail and the following pointers describes the typical scenarios where rad can be used rad should be used only when a system can be modularized to be delivered in an incremental manner it should be used if there is a high availability of designers for modeling it should be used only if the budget permits used for automated code generating tools rad model should be chosen 
only if domain experts are available with relevant business knowledge should be used where the requirements change during the project and working prototypes are to be presented to customer in small iteration of 2 to 3 months what are the advantages of rad model basic advantages of the rad model are changing requirements can be accommodated progress can be measured reduce developing time increase reusability of components quick initial reviews occurs disadvantages of the rad model dependency on the technically strong team members for identify business requirement only system that can be modularized can be built using rad high dependency on modeling skills in applicable to cheaper project as the cost of the modeling and automated code generation is very high suitable for the system that are component based and scalable requires is uses involvement throughout the life cycle at the end we will discuss the summary we have today studied the rad model and i want you guys to write the summary in the comments below that what you have learned from this lecture i will meet you in the next lecture till then take care allah hafiz